Hi, I'm Dr. Apurva Pallam Reddy. I'm a consultant in the field of infertility and laparoscopic surgery from Matrutva Fertility Center, Bangalore. The embryo is allowed to grow for another three or five days in the embryology lab, after which the embryo transfer is planned. For example, if your egg pickup has happened on Monday, then you may expect your transfer to be either on Thursday or on Saturday based on the quality of your embryos. Let's have a look on things we need to keep in mind before embryo transfer. Embryo transfer is not done in fasting. So you can have your regular diet before you come to the clinic. But embryo transfer requires that your bladder should be full. So you are expected to drink at least 2-3 to three liters of water about an hour prior to the expected time of transfer. It is a fairly painless procedure. Hence, it, is, it does not require general anesthesia or any form of sedation. The amount of discomfort what you might experience during a transfer might just be equal to that of what you would get during the time of a scan. Take all your medications as usual. The embryologist loads the embryos in a very small catheter which is less than about 1 mm in diameter. Once the embryos are loaded, your doctor will do an ultrasound examination to visualize your womb and place the embryos exactly in the middle of the womb under ultrasound guidance. This takes only about 5 to 15 minutes for the entire procedure to complete. One very common misconception after an embryo transfer is that after the transfer is done, if you stand up, that the embryos might fall off your womb. But this is entirely untrue. The embryos do not carry any weight and they do not fall outside the uterus once you stand up. And the uterus or your womb is mechanized in such a way that once placed inside the cavity, there are only two options for the embryos. One is either they get attached to the maternal womb in about three or five days from the transfer or they get degenerated. If they get attached, this results in a positive pregnancy test which is assessed about two weeks from the time of embryo transfer. Unfortunately, if the embryos do not attach and if they degenerate, this will result in a negative pregnancy test two weeks from the embryo transfer. So far, our technology has not been advanced enough yet to make sure that all the embryos get attached to the uterus on a 100% manner. That's the reason why the success rates of IVF are only about 35 to 55% based on multiple factors.